Okay, you're asked to find the inverse of this function right here when x is less than or equal to negative 4. Now, here's the graph of the original function without any restriction on its domain. It's a parabola with vertex at negative 4, negative 2, but it doesn't pass the horizontal line test, or the function is not 1 to 1. So it doesn't have an inverse function. It has an inverse relation. By restricting the domain to x is less than or equal to negative 4, we get rid of this half of the parabola. And we have this picture right here, which is 1 to 1, does pass the horizontal line test. So it will have an inverse function. And we find that inverse function by interchanging x and y, which we've done here and solving for y. Now when we reach this point right here, to get to here, we take the square root of both sides. We can say plus or minus the square root of x plus 2 all over 3. Uh, but in the end, we'll reject the plus sign because we want the y value to be less than or equal to negative 4. And if I use the plus here, the y values will be greater than negative 4 because this will be a positive square root. Uh, but if I use the minus sign, we will have a y value less than negative 4. By the way, notice that the domain of the inverse function is x has to be greater than or equal to negative 2. Otherwise, we'd be taking the square root of a negative. Okay, and if I go to the second board here, here's an illustration of the original function and a graph of its inverse function. And if I pick point on the original function, like negative 5, 1, its corresponding point on the inverse function is 1, negative 5. And if you join those two points with a line segment, the line y equals x, which is this green dashed line, is the perpendicular bisector of that segment. And this negative 2, negative 2 happens to be the midpoint of that black line segment. And here's another example, negative 6, 10. Interchange x and y, 10, negative 6. And the line y equals x is... Uh, the perpendicular bisector of joining of the points joining those two points of the line segment joining those two points okay there you go hope that helped if you have any questions uh, post a comment